Hello guys. Um, today is the a test run for the new servo saver I installed. I installed a low Z LMT servo saver uh, because uh, I decided to try uh, and fix a steering issue with this uh, Arma Outcast Forest. Um, Arma really never made an upgrade for the servo saver and the biggest issue for me has been always the servo saver you cannot turn it just understeers understeers for days and yeah it's just not pleasant to drive especially if you want to go fast and the steering is all sloppy so i bought the low zlnt uh, servo saver and i am going to put a picture for the part number right here um, it was pretty straightforward, I just had to raise the servo a little bit I had to... Then I had to drill a little bit because the servo horn is a bit longer And obviously a lot taller It's like a... It's a... It's a servo, a servo saver that mounts directly on the... On the... On the servo But... He has like that clamping thing, like a little key that has to flex, like jaws that open. Like on the CSS trucks, you know, if you have a CSS truck, you know, the servo savers work on those things. So it's in two in one, pretty much, and the servo saver is adjustable. I have it like a millimeter and a half tightened, so it's a little bit tighter than and uh, it's a little bit a little bit stronger than the factory one so you can see i can steer on grass i can i can still turn if it's compressed and i'm going to see how it drives huh i feel already that the, that the steering is a lot responsive if you watch my previous video you will notice that i couldn't turn really I like I'm on, I'm on gas and you can see I can turn. Before when I was turning and turning and having and putting a bit of gas it was like that. It just didn't want to turn. Now I can turn. I can now drift now onto the loose stuff. Something I couldn't be couldn't do before. Like that, see? I can swing the truck really really easily. Left, right. Sometimes a bit too much, <laughs> I just flip over. And the other modification I did is I went to a 17 tooth pinion. And maybe I went a bit too far um, to stop. The, I'm running the 2050 KV, so I was running a 15 tooth. But I felt like it was missing something, so I went to a 17. And I might go back to 15 because it's getting a bit too hot. And yeah, it consumes a lot more energy and gets a lot the wall power system is really hot um, 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 because I did the Savage with the first pack now I'm done with the second pack and I'm going a little bit uh, a little more gently with it oh man I love it now it reminds me of the 6s trucks now because of the sister truck you can just spin the throttle and be able to control it now with the 3s truck you couldn't uh, you would throttle it and it you couldn't you couldn't correct it because the steering was so bad and the beauty of this i could i could tighten it more and have more steering just one one and a half millimeters I think uh, tighten it oh durability test 
it's still, it's still on the steers uh, on throttle because it's a 4x4 and my steers are a little bit uh, I'm on the heavy side like I have uh, I think 60k inter rear and uh, 50k inter front something like that but I'm going I'm planning on putting a Creighton chassis like the V1 ch Creighton like the Typhoon Centon 3S chassis going to put that on we're going to change the body and the wing mount not the wing for the V1 Creighton that I have because I really just bought this for nostalgia right I already said that in another video so I'm going to convert it like a Creighton 4S V1.5 V I'm going to say I'm just going to revive the Creighton I, the Creighton I started with that's going to be awesome I hope I hope the body lines up because the Creighton 4S V1 doesn't fit the body doesn't fit because the chassis is a bit shorter on this one if I put the Creighton V1 chassis I hope the line the holes directly line up with the body and I'm going to have to change the drive shaft um, and the front bumper I believe because I'm not going to keep the outcast one and other than that uh, it should be it should be a cool project now that I fixed that steering issue I think that uh, this thing is going to be a dream to drive now oh 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 I'm going a bit too crazy with it yeah 17 tooth is a bit too much I'm on punch 3 I believe still a few jumps wow yeah sometimes it's, sometimes it turns too much well, the Creighton chassis should be a little bit longer so it should be it should help with that Hope so. Sure. Right. Let's go for big jumps now. Before my battery dies. Full speed jump. Let's go. One, two, three, go! Yeah, uh, I did a wheelie before I left the turn, so that was a fail. Oh, I'm not, whoa, I'm not looking where I'm going. I should look where I go. Like, really. Alright. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I cannot keep the wheelie, I don't know what's going on. Is the wheelie bar damaged or something? Because no everything is alright. It always keeps going on one wheel and dancing. crashes it's pretty soft when it crashes you cannot hear any loud noises when it crashes that's pretty cool 
clear. Yep, it's clear. Facing the right way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. <laughs> no. Tree, tree, oh, neon trees. Oh my god, let's try again. Full speed. I can let go of the throttle on turn, and he turns. That's great. Oh. Full speed again. Man, easy P. Oh, turn. What's going on? I think I have a, a rock or something. It turns. Alright, let's try a front flip. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Full speed. No. There was no near, no way near full speed. It's pretty hard to keep it down. Let's try again. Oh, I landed it. I landed it, so it's no big deal. It tumbled. Back in action. Oh, nice drifts. Into oh. a bit of drifting, right? Oh, don't run over me. Let's see now. Oh, yeah. We couldn't do that before. We couldn't do that before. It's for full speed. Don't get straight. Let's go. Oh, come on. Keep it down. Come oh, on. Yeah, it's pretty hard to keep it down. It's really hard to keep it down. Let's try again. Oh, bad tree's down. My tree is done. Well, I think that's a success. I had a very good strap to come loose. Uh, nothing to... Nothing... Nothing uh, worth pointing out. Other than the heat on the motor. My tree is a tiny bit hot, I think. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Not too much, so I need to change the opinion on that. And other than that, um, yeah, I'm going. I think that this thing is fixed, and uh, now I'm going to really enjoy it running now. 
Alright, thank you for watching guys. I will see you on the next one.